in this lecture we will discuss about Pulfrich refractometer refractometer is an instrument that measures refractive index of liquid by using total internal reflection this is a pulfrich refractometer this has a vertical glass block let us say refractive index of glass block is mu z this surface and this surface is vertical so glass block has vertical surface we have a cylindrical tube that contains liquid and let us say refractive index is mu basically we have to find the value of mu now during experiment a convergent beam of monochromatic light is directed towards this junction that is liquid glass junction so this surface is illuminated by convergent monochromatic beam glass and liquid junction is illuminated So this light gets refracted angle of incidence is 90 degree let us call angle of refraction is C this angle is again I that is angle of incidence for glass to this medium let us say this side we have air that is mu is equals to 1 so this is denser medium this is rarer medium so light ray will go away from the normal so this is the normal let us say this angle is R now we have a telescope here this telescope can be moved in this direction in this direction as well as in this direction now in the movement of telescope we found in this region we have light but in this region we don't have any light so this is dark region and this is bright region so there is a boundary that separates this dark and bright region so we move the telescope so that we can find the boundary so by movement of telescope one can find between dark and bright region and then we can measure this angle R 
so angle r can be measured why we have dark and bright region this can be explained on the basis of total internal reflection if you see this light this light is corresponding to i is equals to 90 degree and this emerges here if i have any light that is incident on some angle it will go in this direction so it will create brightness in this reason we cannot have any light because this is a case of total internal reflection now we can write a snail slot two surfaces so we can write a snail slot on this surface refractive index is mu angle of incidence is 90 degree so mu into sine 90 is equals to here we have refractive index is mu z and angle of refraction is c another equation we can write on this surface that is mu g into sin i is equals to 1 into sin r 1 is because refractive index of air is 1 we can also write from zometry that is angle c plus angle i is 90 degree because this angle is 90 degree so angle c plus angle i is equals to 90 degree equation 2 can be modified that is mu z sin i is nothing but 90 minus c is equals to sin r so we can write mu z cos c is equals to sin r so we can write cos c is equals to sin r by mu z similarly sin c we can write from here sin c is mu z by mu z so mu by mu z into sin 90 sin 90 is 1 so this is simply sin c is equals to mu by mu z let us call this equation is 2 so we have already said 1 and 2 so let us call this is 1 dash and 2 dash now we can square and add 1 dash and 2 dash so we will have cos square c plus sin square c this is equals to sin r by mu z whole square plus mu by mu z whole square so we will have 1 is equals to sin square r plus mu square divided by mu z square or mu z square is equals to sin square r plus mu square so from here we can write mu square is equals to mu g square minus sin square r so mu is root over mu g square minus sin square r now mu z is known that is refractive index of glass let us say this is 1.51 this is angle of refraction through the second surface this is also known so this is also known so we can calculate refractive index of liquid that is unknown now this method is used if refractive index of water is less than 1.51 if this is high in that case we have to take block of different material that will have higher refractive index
this means I can say if density if refractive index of liquid is greater than 1.51 we have to take block of block that will have higher refractive index that will have refractive index greater than 1.51 and this condition is required for total internal reflection so this is for total internal reflection